ScreenShare Pro is a wireless display solution supplied with all new EduTouch interactive panels. It provides wireless display and touch control for Windows and Mac laptops and computers, as well as display only for all handheld devices like iPads, iPhones and Android phones and tablets. You can display up to four devices simultaneously, however you can have up to 253 devices connected. ScreenShare Pro is preloaded and activated on all new EduTouch panels. You will therefore not need a license for each device that you connect. There are two ways to access ScreenShare Pro. The first method is to open the app drawer and select ScreenShare Pro. The second and faster method is to click on the code and select view the main interface. However, ScreenShare Pro is always running in the background and does not need to be launched in order to use it. ScreenShare Pro requires a client app installed on each device. There are two ways to install the client. Open the user's guide on the ScreenShare Pro interface and go to the web page using your device or scan the QR code using your mobile device. This will redirect you to the relevant app store to download it. If, however, your network is firewalled and you can't reach the web page, you will find the client programs for all your devices on the EduTouch USB memory card supplied with your panel. Please remember that all devices need to be connected to the same network in order to use ScreenShare Pro. In other words, they must all be connected to the same IP address range. ScreenShare Pro has a settings menu to customise your experience. Turning off Start Automatically on Boot will prevent ScreenShare Pro from running on your panel completely. You should only do this if you are not planning to use ScreenShare Pro at all. The code refresh rate can be changed between 10, 20 and 30 minutes. The floating window setting allows you to either display the code as seen above, block it out by displaying the ScreenShare Pro logo, or completely turn the code off should you wish it to remain hidden. If you have decided to hide the code, you will need to display it manually for clients to join by opening the ScreenShare Pro interface. Advanced Code Mode can be used if you want a more complex alphanumeric code. The code can be moved along the top or side of the screen if it is obstructing something on the screen. We are now ready to connect our clients and display to the EduTouch panel. Here I have connected a Windows laptop, followed by a MacBook. Even older laptops with a lower resolution are supported as can be seen in the third window. Lastly, an iPad. Screen rotation on mobile devices is supported by ScreenShare Pro. ScreenShare Pro provides tools for each active window that allow you to maximise and minimise or close active windows. Now I'll remove the iPad and the older Windows laptop. You can also bring up the on-screen keyboard. You can use touch control on each of the devices that support it. You can also use the built-in annotation tool while using ScreenShare Pro. ScreenShare Pro can also be used in a more secure master mode that gives the presenter more control over who can display and when. To use master mode, you will need to bring up the ScreenShare Pro interface, go to menu, go to switch mode, and turn on master mode. Once in master mode, you will notice that the background of the ScreenShare Pro interface shows a padlock. Please note that if you are in an active session, this will disconnect all clients and they will need to reconnect. Now when a client attempts to display, you will be prompted to accept or reject the connection. In master mode, you have a list of devices that are connected. You can then remotely enable the connected client or clients to display. 